Hi, you guys. We're recording um, decollete shoulder neck massage for you guys. That way you have like step-by-step -step instructions on um, like a routine you can follow or you can take these basics I'm about to show you and kind of uh, change it and do stuff that you wanna add in or take out. So this is gonna be just like a basic overview um, of what I've done on my clients. Take what you want from it, add to it, make it your own. But this can be like just a basic first step for you. So I mixed the two, the tea tree lotion with the grapeseed oil together just so I have a little bit of slip, but still have, um, so I don't have to keep going back for more products. That's why I like the oils a lot. It's up to you what you wanna do. Um, some people in a professional setting can use coconut oil too, if your client is not allergic. So that's another cheaper option you can use. Now for, we're gonna start on her decollete here. Um, this is going to be done during your mask while that's setting. So, you know, 10 minutes of that. Um, once you guys learn like the hydro jelly masks, which we ordered for you, you, you leave those on for 15 to 20 minutes. So that can be your time to massage, really get the client relaxed. This, if you're good at your massage, this gains loyalty right away. They will come back to you if you are good at your massage. So... Just keep that in mind, make it a treat, make it special. And remember your energy is transferred from your hands to them. So if you have some negative energy going on, leave it at the door and focus 100% on your client because your hands literally do transfer energy. So you can also use that in a positive way. I can send her positive energy. I can send her uplifting energy or just for her to chill. If that's the kind of energy I want to send her, just remember that. And whether you believe it in or not, it's true. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab some of our product. Um, I'm going to grab quite a bit because I don't like to keep going back. Um, Never do this over your client's face because you, the product can drop to their face. So just think about that. So I'm gonna start by letting her know that I'm about to start the massage. So I just take my hands here and just let her know I'm about to start. I'm gonna press through here and just drag the product slowly across the chest. Once I've done this, you can do this maybe up to three to five times. This will depend on your preference really. Um, make sure during your consultation you talk about your pressure. That's another important thing. I'm just going to do a medium to firm pressure. Um, so when we start, just follow the collarbones out to the shoulders. And then when you come back in, you're going to fold your fingers up kind of like gorilla knuckles and go back in. You can also do this. This feels really nice. And then slowly you can start to build up your tempo. Your tempo is really important. So we're gonna start to kind of get a little bit faster and I'm still keeping that same pressure. This move right here, you can do this up to 10 times. You can do it longer if you want. Again, this is up to you guys, how you want to um, do your service. I like to do this quite a bit though, this first part. This is kind of like my introduction. Okay. We're getting ready to get a nice massage. This just kind of relaxes them. Think of your moves as like the ocean, okay? I, do, I don't wanna, when I come over here, I don't wanna take my hands off. My hands are always gonna be constantly moving from each step and I'm not gonna take my hands off. And it's very flowing, very relaxing. So then from here, now that we've done this section, I'm gonna go down her arms. This is um, the biceps, the triceps get really tight. So when it, can you move that camera down just a little bit so they can see just on this, yeah, that's good. Does that look okay? Okay. So what I'm gonna do, that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do, we've got her shoulder blade here. So when I start to push through here from before, I'm going to twist my hands and take my thumbs and go straight down the bicep, just like that. 
When I come back up the tricep, which is the back part of the arm, I'm gonna do that gorilla fold with my hands again and just kind of push the knuckles through the triceps like that. Around the shoulder blades a couple times. And then we're gonna repeat. Again, you can do this up to 10 times. If you're leaving it on the mask for up to 20 minutes, you wanna slow it down and do the same move quite a bit of time. That way you can, um, you're not like re, what's the word? Going back to the beginning too soon. Does that make sense? The beginning of your routine. So this, this is a really nice way to get your client to just relax and to um, loosen up the arms. Women tend to carry a lot of their pressure through the shoulders up into the traps. So let's, that's gonna be your next part, okay? Um, this is, again, I'm just showing you the different steps. So each step you can do up to 10 times or more if you'd like. So that's gonna be step number two. After we come up the tricep, I'm gonna go straight into her triceps right here. So I'm gonna apply more of my lotion through here. Okay, so we go down the bicep, we come back up the tricep, and we're gonna go straight into her traps right through here. How's the pressure on that? Good. When I get to the base of her neck, I'm gonna take my knuckle Put it into the base of her neck and kind of pull and you can kind of tilt their head side to side this is a very relaxing thing for your client this relieves you know headaches and stress kind of helps them feel you know um stress reliever and then you can go this is probably the the most the favorite requested part this um right through the traps back of the neck base of the neck and then we can start up here go back over the shoulders back the traps and up the neck and at the base of the neck we're going to press a little bit more firm twist their neck if you'd like and then go back to the beginning hey guys we took kind of a long time so that's okay that's okay. You're fine. We'll do it. We'll do it soon. Okay, so this, that's going to be your next step. So again, up to 10 times, you can repeat the process. This, you can repeat as many times as you want. Everybody loves that. Everybody loves it right through here. This is where we carry our stress, okay? Another trick you can do for... If you want to go deeper to, into the traps, I'm going to take some more. We're recording a video. Gracia. Just kidding. So I'm going to I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to lift up her neck a little and get my hand right at between her shoulder blades. Get my other one there. Put some pressure with my fingertips and lean back and pull all the way up. We have um, bigger women that are heavier. This is going to be harder for you to do. So if you feel like you can't get under there, just go as deep as you can. And then this is the part. So you can do that probably five times if you'd like, five to ten times. While you're here, you can take your thumbs and go go through the traps again. This is really nice for your client. Okay, another trick I'll show you is, this is kind of just a, kind of a precursor to when you go into your neck massage. I'm going to grab the base of her neck here. I'm going to turn her head for her. And I'm going to rest, this is true, but I'm resting my boob right on top of her head so that her head is secure. This is a very safe spot for your client. This is gonna make them feel very safe, very secure, and that's how you want your touch to feel. So we're gonna start up here at the chest, go around the shoulder, come up the back of the trap, 
and up the side of the neck. Be careful, there is a pressure point right here. If you can follow their jawline right at the base of their ear, there's a pressure point right here. So just be aware of that when you're doing this part. You don't want to do that. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, so this part, I'm just, I kind of avoid this upper area right through here. I'm just gonna stick kind of down here near the bottom of the neck. Go ahead and grab more product if you need. Another trick is to use your knuckles again. We're gonna just do the same exact movement right through the trap and I'm going to twist my wrist just like that. My, my philosophy for this, if I can get someone to come in for a facial and I can massage them, they will usually like 80%, 90% of the time come back to you. So really work on getting your massage good, like really good. This is, this is where your clients will, um, this is where your clients will start to be like, oh, she is good, you know? Thank you, appreciate that. My keys are like in her face. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get some more product over here. Apply it where I need. Start at the chest, go around the shoulder, and up the back of the neck. Again, be careful to watch that pressure point there. You can do this up to 10 times. Nice and slow, nice and fluid. Be confident in your movements. Don't be afraid to give them that pressure. Even if they're like, I want medium pressure, give them nice, firm, medium pressure. Okay, then now we're gonna do that knuckles trick. So we're gonna do the same exact thing, just with the knuckles, and we're gonna stay right on this trap area and go in circles. So this is literally just a twist of the wrist. It feels incredible. And it really, really helps to kind of knead out the stress that we carry, especially women. We just carry it right here really bad. You notice throughout the day that you start to shrug, right? And when you're stressed, you just realize, oh, I need to drop my shoulders down again because I just forgot that they're just up by my ears. So this helps to really just push these shoulders down. You can also go the other direction. So if you want to start here and push their shoulder down, that's going to give it a nice stretch right through here. There's so much you can do with this massage. This is just a very basic start for you guys. Okay, go forward for me. There we go. Be very careful when you're moving their neck. Some people can't twist as much as other people, so just be aware. So to finish up, we're gonna head back to the beginning, okay? Finish off where we started in the beginning. So I'm gonna go back and forth again. Motion like the ocean, baby, that's right. All right. Yes, I, I definitely said that in the video. You're welcome. Oh, I, I uh, winked and did the eyebrow at Brittany. As I said, motion in the ocean. She's getting her brows done. So start at the chest, go around the shoulders, and up the back of the traps. Yes, I would love that. Your spot is called. Okay, and then again, go in with your knuckles around the traps. You're literally repeating the process, but it's continuous and people like that. They like that if something feels good to someone, and you go back to it like over and over again, it's very relaxing, very stress relieving, and it helps to just alleviate, helps them for, to forget what they have to do after they're done here. Another trick, there's a lot of nerve endings through the ears. Turn your head back to that one. So what I like to do, um, this can be when you have their head turned. When you come back up through here, Go ahead and squeeze the earlobe just a little bit and follow the edges of their ears all the way up. 
and just kind of give it a little squeeze on the edges. There's a lot of nerve endings right through here. And for some reason, it just feels really good. Okay. Let's go forward. Okay, that's the end of our little uh, video. Please come to me if you guys have any questions or recommendations because I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Bye. Eh.